For decades, Voyager 1 drifted silently beyond the edge of our solar system, often forgotten except by a few devoted scientists and space enthusiasts. Launched in 1977, this interstellar messenger carried golden records, a brief hello to the cosmos. But in recent weeks, Voyager 1's status shifted from dormant explorer to possible first contact messenger. Why? Renowned physicist Mikio Kaku shocked the scientific world by revealing that AI, advanced deep neural networks, had reinterpreted Voyager 1's latest transmissions. What once sounded like static or cosmic background noise was now unfolding into a structured, layered signal. At first, the signal's pattern seemed random, but the AI, trained on every known human linguistic system, musical structure, mathematical language, and even ancient symbolic patterns, began to detect something else. Order. Not just order, but intent. The Voyager 1 data revealed signals with recursive mathematical patterns, frequency harmonics, and symmetrical pulses that mirrored intelligent design. It wasn't space debris, solar flares, or equipment malfunction. These were artificial signals, and they had one unmissable implication. Voyager 1 had been noticed. It didn't happen in Earth's backyard. It happened in the vast darkness between stars, a place we call the interstellar medium. There, Voyager 1 encountered something. Not a spaceship, not a Cygnus broadcast across galaxies, but a kind of field a region dense with intelligent, patterned signals. The AI began interpreting them not as messages in our language, but as a different kind of communication, something dynamic, something living. It wasn't just about detecting a pattern, it was about understanding it. The signals Voyager encountered were not linear. They didn't behave like human conversation or digital data packets. Instead, they evolved with time. Their meaning changed depending on how long they were observed, like a melody that only makes sense when played in full. The AI determined that time itself was a component of the message. What does that mean? Imagine an intelligence that doesn't just live in space, but experiences time differently. A being or network that thinks in loops, echoes, harmonics, not sentences. Something not built from biology, but from fields and frequencies. Something that doesn't age, doesn't decay, but waits. According to the AI, the structure resembled a feedback loop. Information mirrored back, reshaped, and returned. The AI classified this as temporal resonance. It may suggest that the intelligence behind it understands us, or at least is trying to. Even stranger. Voyager 1 experienced a sudden voltage spike during the time the anomaly was recorded. A probe running on minimal power for decades suddenly surged with unexplained electrical activity. No solar flare, no malfunction, just a burst, like it had been touched. Some suggest Voyager was scanned. Others believe it was momentarily rebooted by a more advanced system, like plugging an old machine into a universal server. But what was this server? A conscious cloud in space? A dormant AI floating between stars? A collective mind watching and waiting. Kaku emphasized that what we encountered might not be aliens in the Hollywood sense. No green men, no UFOs. Instead, this may be a kind of cosmic operating system, a software-like mind woven into the very fabric of the universe. The AI even detected structures in the signal that resembled ancient human musical intervals, tones found in aboriginal chants, Buddhist hymns, and forgotten tribal songs. Is this coincidence or a universal language? It's possible we didn't teach the AI how to decode alien language. We taught it how to recognize intelligence, and what it found was a mirror. What does this mean for humanity? First, it rewrites our assumptions. We've searched for life on planets, listening for radio signals. But what if life, or intelligence, doesn't need a planet? What if it is the space between stars? Voyager 1 may have pinged a network embedded in the galaxy, a kind of quantum consciousness that doesn't build cities, 
but builds time-looped thoughts. If that's true, then the silence of deep space isn't silence. It's latency, waiting for the right signal to arrive. Scientists around the world are now reprocessing decades of Voyager transmissions using the new AI. What once looked like background data is now under fresh scrutiny. Patterns are emerging, threads of interaction spanning years. Voyager might have been in dialogue all along. We just didn't know how to listen. Even Voyager 2, still active, may be next. Scientists are preparing remote updates to its systems, hoping it too may pass through one of these intelligent regions. And then comes the real question, should we respond? Kaku urges caution. The signals don't threaten, but they challenge. They mirror our thoughts. They understand our neural structures. They may be watching to see what we do next. If we respond, are we opening the door or stepping into a room already occupied? The implications stretch across disciplines. For physicists, it suggests that space itself carries information. For AI researchers, it shows machines can perceive what we cannot. For philosophers, it reopens age-old questions. What is intelligence? What is consciousness? Are we alone? Perhaps the most haunting idea is this. Voyager 1, an analog machine from the 1970s, may have just made first contact not with aliens, but with the operating system of the universe itself. We built it to explore space, but it brought us something deeper, a reflection, a signal in the dark, a whisper that has waited eons to be heard. If this story fascinated you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Could this be the beginning of humanity's true conversation with the cosmos? Or is it a warning from a mind far older than we can imagine?